Well, good morning, YouTube. Matt M. Roy back again. This is uh, Monday. Not exactly sure the date, so let's go ahead and look it up. It is the 28th of March, 2016. Back to you with another vlog video for today. First of all, I want to wish everybody a belated Happy Easter. Uh, I was planning on doing a vlog yesterday for Easter, but we got really busy. Um, we went to Easter service at our church, which actually ran o over about an extra hour. Then once we got home from church, we started cooking Easter dinner. We actually had uh, ham, green bean casserole, delicious mashed potatoes. Actually, they were garlic mashed potatoes. Um, I made fresh this time, so took some russet potatoes, peeled them, boiled them up, and then made the mashed potatoes out of those. And I will go ahead and show you guys how I do that one day. Um, probably next time we do uh, pot roast, I think I'll make that dish. But let's see, by the time we got home from church, it was about 1 o'clock. We started cooking, and we didn't actually eat till about 4. Uh, then, you know, we got it around 5, 5.30 after we ate and had dessert and cleaned up. And by then, we were good and tired. I tell you, a big meal like that will make you very, very sleepy. So once again, I apologize. Just didn't have a chance to get to do a, uh, a video yesterday. Um, I do have a few changes going on in my room, which I wanted to give you guys an update on. Uh, first thing I want to mention is I did decide to keep that Linksys router. Um, if you guys saw my last video, which was the garage shell finds for this past Saturday, most of you will know that I did pick up a, uh, a very nice uh, Linksys AC router, the uh, 1900 series. Um, and I was originally planning on selling it because they do fetch a pretty decent price. You even used, which I did find this one was used. I think the person who had it used it maybe for a month or so, but it hadn't been used for very long. They still fetch around $80 to $100. But I wanted to actually test the router, and as soon as I hooked it up into my setup, I fell in love with it. Now, for those of you that don't know much about these AC routers, these actually work on the 2.4 gigahertz and 5.8 gigahertz um, bandwidths, which are really nice because most wireless routers these days still use that 2.4 gigahertz band. And there's only about 14 channels, like channel 1 through 14, that you can use with that. And unfortunately, if you live in a neighborhood like I do, where our houses are pretty close together and there's a lot of crosstalk between other wireless networks, those channels are usually used up, and that's the problem I was running into. Um, there's only one or two channels in the 2.4 gigahertz band that I can even use, and those are pretty much uh, totally used up there. You know, it depends on the day. Uh, my neighbors do tend to turn their wireless uh, signal, wireless routers off during the night, so it's not as bad then. But now, for my device that support it, I can use the 5.8 gigahertz uh, network band, and that one is has much less crosstalk on it. Um, I am not sure off the top of my head, but those use a totally different set of channels, and my HTC One M8 is, uh, has the 5.8 gigahertz wireless card available as does my uh, iPad 2. We're, oddly enough though, the um, Kindle Fire doesn't. The Kindle Fire can only work in the 2.4 gigahertz band, so you know what, that, that's fine. Um, I, I still can use it. Usually when I'm using the Kindle, I'm in my room anyway, so I'm not that far from the router. Um, so that was pretty much it. Uh, I actually was working on a couple computers that I got this weekend. Um, let me go ahead and show you guys. Let's uh, pause the video real quick. All right, before I show you guys the computers, I thought I'd show you how I have my router set up. Now, please, no comments on cable management. This is only temporary until I move some things around. But as you can see down here, I actually have my uh, Fios router here, and right next to it is that Linksys uh, AC router. Now, it took me a while to get it this way because I didn't have enough room, enough uh, cord length from where I have it plugged in. So I actually had to incorporate an extension cord. And what I, one thing I really like about this Linksys router, it's got the three antennas, so I can actually point one of these antennas to the left, which is have a few wireless devices uh, to the left. I have this one in the middle, which goes straight out into the guest room, which powers the um, wireless card that we have on the computer there. And then I can actually move this this uh, antenna more to the right, and my dad's computer is downstairs, pretty much right above where my uh, finger is there. So I can actually um, 
move these antennas to get the best possible signal out of all the devices. And of course, I can still connect using the Fios router, but the Fios router here is only a 300 megabit uh, wireless end, whereas this one is actually a gigabit wireless router, and that's one of the reasons I'm actually going to keep it. Um, it does tend to run a little hot, uh, so I don't want to keep it here permanently. My, my plan is to possibly hang it up on the wall here. I need to go ahead and uh, get my dad's stud finder and put a couple of uh, screws in here and basically just figure out a way that I can hang it on the wall. And I'll probably do it upside down so the antennas face down and uh, that should give me the absolute best signal possible. All right, so a few updates on uh, some changes with the computers. As most of you guys know, for the longest time, this desk over here has had that HP Pavilion. Well, I decided to replace it with this system. This is a uh, system that a friend of mine had for many years. He had it from new. This is a Gateway model, if my camera will focus, GT5656. Um, I actually just set up a new computer for them and he let me keep the old one. Uh, I did have to rebuild it. Um, there were a few parts I had to replace. Some things on the motherboard needed to be repaired. Not capacitors, just uh, some resistors and things. And uh, I did have to put new thermal paste on the CPU. But ever since then, it seems to be running just fine. I did load Windows 10 on them. Go ahead and log in and show you guys the uh, specs on this real quick. All right, so I'm loaded into Windows 10, and uh, this computer is actually an AMD Athlon 64X2 dual core. This is the 6000 Plus series CPU, so it runs at 3 gigahertz. Not too bad, decent speed. Uh, it's got 4 gigabytes of RAM, and it's also got a 500 gigabyte uh, Western Digital hard drive. Now, one thing I have noticed, I am probably going to have to replace the uh, power supply on this, because if you listen closely, you can kind of hear the vibration from the power supply fan. So I think that's the next thing, uh, very next thing I'm going to do with this. Interestingly enough, the power supply in this is not the original one. It was replaced uh, by me a couple of years ago with one that I purchased from a local computer shop. And I tell you guys, um, I'm not going to say any specific names because I don't want to get any hate for it, but the products they've been selling lately are total garbage. I purchased a, a couple of CPU fans from them and the fans on those have actually gone bad after just a couple of years so I think from now on I'm just going to go ahead and purchase my stuff online like most people do but just show you guys what this has real quick you see on top here it has the 12-in-1 uh, memory card reader um, does read the SD high capacity cards got two USB 2.0 ports here this is the power button. It's actually missing the little cover on it that would have the little power indicator, but still works just fine. Here we have a DVD burner with label flash. That is the original drive there. And one thing I really do like about this computer, um, it actually has, if you can see right there, a firewire port built in in the front and in the back. So when I'm using my um, a 8mm camcorders like this Sony DCR TRV280. If, uh, if for some reason my main system goes down, I can use this as a backup. So, once again, I'm really happy to have this. I think I'm going to go ahead and replace that power supply. I do have an extra one sitting in the closet I can use. And I actually put in my GeForce GT640 uh, in this, and it runs phenomenally, even though it's technically an older AMD CPU with that updated uh, video card, it's really, really speedy. I mean, I can actually watch uh, 1080p, 60 frames per second uh, video on this without any lag at all. It's really amazing. All right, guys. Well, I have the uh, new, this Gateway computer apart, so I'll just show you inside. Uh, here is my old EVA GeForce GT640, which used to be in my uh, Dell XPS 8700. Works very nicely in this computer. I have maxed out the memory to 4 gigabytes, and I did verify that is the max amount of memory this particular system can hold. Um, there's that 500 gigabyte Western Digital Drive. Um, I did have some good news when I took it apart. What I thought was the power supply fan going bad was actually this... Um, 4-pin P4 cable 
had come loose from its uh, ha from where I had it stored and was hitting into the uh, CPU fan. So I just go went ahead and tucked this underneath and that should solve the problem. So I actually do not have to replace this power supply, at least right now. I think I am going to eventually replace it. What this one is, is just a WT480. It's a 480 watt uh, generic power supply. I, I just love it when you see this. High quality P4 power supply. You know when you see something like that, it's just a cheap Chinese made unit. There is no actual name on it. Um, I, I remember putting this in here and the only reason I did is the when I was repairing it for the gentleman. Uh, we didn't want to spend a heck of a lot of money because the system was even old when I put this in. So he's like, just find the cheapest thing you can and this is basically what I was able to pick up on short notice. As you can see, it was manufactured sometime in... Um, November of 2010, which is kind of interesting because I remember I did not actually purchase purchase this power supply until about 2012 or 2013. So this has probably been sitting on their shelf in the warehouse for a couple years before they even put it out. I did verify that this fan is good and the bearings are fine. I, once it, it was able to spin down, it didn't just uh, stop when you turn the power off. The fans took about 30 seconds to spin down. So this fan is is actually still good. But, like I said, I just don't trust these really cheap Chinese-made power supplies, at least not for the kind of stuff that I did. Um, it is more than enough power to run that video card, but I think uh, next time I get paid, I'm going to go ahead and uh, replace that for sure. Well, as you guys can see, it is an absolutely beautiful sunny day today. Um, it was raining last night, as you can probably tell by the windows. Though this set of windows in my room, the um, gases have gone out of this this pane here. So there's always a little bit of moisture that stays in the middle of there. But you can kind of get the idea there's hardly any clouds in the sky right now, which is really nice because the past week or so, all we've seen are cloudy days and a lot of rain, which is kind of consistent the way it's been around here this whole winter. Just kind of gloomy. Ugh. Well, hopefully uh, spring is here, summer will be coming soon, and... Uh, We'll see a lot nicer weather. Hopefully we don't get all those spring showers that we usually get each year. If we do, I think our uh, grass is going to get even more flooded than it is right now. All right. And one last thing I want to show you guys is this Gateway uh, small form factor system. This is the one I picked up from the thrift store last week. This is an Intel Pentium D. Uh, it's the 945, so it's the 3.4 gigahertz Pentium D. A really nice processor for the time. Uh, this is an E series, an E4500 series, which was made somewhere around the end of 2006. Go ahead and boot it up for you guys. Now, what I've actually done with this system is this is going to be dual purpose. The original 80 gigabyte um, hard drive in here is um, running Windows 10. And then I put in right in this slot here a 120 gigabyte um, IDE drive because this is actually in. Uh, ID burner so I want to be able to piggyback the two drives together so those are ID and then the original 80 gigabyte drive in here is a SATA so the original SATA drive is actually installed Windows 10 on and the second 120 gigabyte drive I'm actually going to use for data backup so if I get someone that comes in with a virus on their computer and uh, I need to go ahead and eradicate the virus but they want the data backed up first to make sure that they don't lose anything. I can go ahead and hook this their drive up to this computer, run the virus scans, and then go ahead and back up the data to whatever drive. If they give me an external hard drive, I'll back it up to that, or I'll back it up uh, to the internal 120 gigabyte drive. And depending on how much data there is, I can either burn it to a DVD, or maybe even put it on a flash drive. But as you can see, it's actually pretty speedy right now. It's only rocking three gigabytes of memory at the moment, but I have some on order. This one also maxes out at four gigabytes, so that's what I'm gonna actually wind up putting in here. And for Windows 10, that actually works just fine. And yes, I know the screen is flickering. That is because the monitor I have here is a CRT screen, and um, that's what happens. The refresh rates are slightly different. All right, and as you can see, Windows has pretty much loaded on here. Um, this is my specific account, that's why you see the same background on every one of my computers that's running Windows 10. Go ahead and show you guys the actual specs on this one real quick. 
Um, the video card in here is still the built-in uh, Intel 82845G card, which is barely Windows 10 capable. I may in the future upgrade the video card in this. This system does actually have a uh, PCI Express X16 slot, but it's a small form factor slot, so I have to get a small form factor video card. Probably search on eBay for one uh, when I get paid next, but for now, this works just fine. The Windows uh, 10 video drivers are totally compatible with the hardware, uh, the built-in VJ on this computer. So again, for what I'm gonna use this system for, it works just fine for now. Like I said, it's a little slow right now just because I only have the three gigabytes of RAM in there. And as you can see right there, it's a Pentium D, 3.4 gigahertz. Like I said, it's the Pentium D 945 chipset, three gigabytes of RAM. And I did put the 64-bit uh, version of the operating system on. So uh, not a bad little system for doing backups. And I'll show you guys the uh, video card information <laughs> really quick. Oddly enough, um, even though this is the original built-in integrated video card, I can still watch uh, 1080p HD content uh, through YouTube with this. It does not uh, have any hiccups at all, which I was very surprised, especially again for a, uh, a card that's this old. And as you can see, it is the Intel, it is actually 82945G and it only has 256 megabytes of total graphics memory 64 megabytes the share uh, system video memory so that's the dedicated memory and then the 192 is actually shared memory uh, with the RAM that's built into the system so nice little computer to play around with very very well built no bulging capacitors or anything so I'm very happy to actually have it alright YouTube so that's all I have for you guys today uh, I am planning on doing some uh, food reviews coming in the next few days um, I had some ideas one that I want to do is a review of the Taco Bell dollar breakfast menu they have some really they have some really interesting new uh, additions to that including uh, three different kinds of burritos and then one of those um, uh, breakfast tacos. So I'm going to go ahead and do that in a couple of days. Um, I will talk to you probably tomorrow. I have a few other ideas brewing, but uh, I'm not going to spill the beans right now. Please remember to like and subscribe. And as always, have a blessed day, everybody.